One of my all-time favorite movies is Akira. I love the tune shaded style. I wanted to see if I could replicate it in 3D. Today, I will show you how I was able to recreate the scene using the YMA tune shader for Redshift and C4D. Okay, let's see how it was done. This technique using the YMA tune shader is super simple. First, I turn off GI in my settings since they will make this render faster and there's no bounce light in tune shading. Also in my settings, I make sure my view is set to untone map. Asus would make the colors not pop like the way any anime would, so I'm trying to match a reference. Next, I create a material and drop in the YMA tune shading and link the infinite light set to point light. Next, I change the line color to something more obvious while I tweak the settings. A rather thin outline gives the best look and same with the inner line thickness. I look at my reference, adding a color abs for my base color and adding a color layer. This is so I can mix in the textures of the stickers with alpha. So my base is red, then the top is stickers, and then on top of that, I add the tune shading set to multiply. Now all the shading will affect everything below. Next is simply tweaking the colors of the shadows. So I make it a slightly light blue color, a lot lighter than you may think, but as you can see, it matches the reference quite well. After that, I have a ray switch. So anything not facing the camera will only get the red shading and not the stickers since you don't want them inside the object. And now that I have that set up, I'm using the ray switch and simply duplicating it and having the stickers be the front and then just the red will be the back. So right here, I'm making it a bright pink and you can see now it's a blue just to make sure it's working properly. And with that, I have everything set up. Now I move over to the glass, which is a standard glass material, which I mix with another YMA tune shader, but only for the lines. So as you can see, it looks like glass now. And then I'm just bringing in another tune shader, linking in the light, setting it to the point and making sure that only the lines show up. So right now I have it this bright yellow so I can see it and now it's white. First, I tried the color layer to see if that would work, but as you can see, it would give me an error. So I needed to use the material blender or material layer color, which is the new way of mixing things together. Once I have that set up, you can see that all the lights work and I actually have an outline on top of my glass. Next, I'm duplicating the shader and applying this red base to everything else that does not need the stickers. Once I have this set up, it's basically my universal material, which I can continue to duplicate. And all I need to do is simply change one base absolute color. And that will allow me to change the colors for the seats, for the tires, for the lights. Essentially everything in the scene is using the same setup. That way all the lighting works properly and everything works together harmoniously. So as you can see, I just changed the seat and now I'm doing the tires and then I'm just going bit by bit through just changing that setting for the base color. Here I've created some stickers in Photoshop and putting that on the screen, but everything else is pretty much standard. I also do a selection set and add in a completely reflective mirror material. So the, that section will look right. Now that I have everything set up, I've changed the background color to make that just more obvious and pop so I can make sure that I'm seeing the outlines on my glass properly and seeing enough contrast as I'm going along. But from here on in, I'm just adding in the exact same shader and just changing the base color and just going one by one. And that is basically how I'm able to create the look for this Akira bike properly. The lights are slightly different. I'm using the incandescent material and then I'm going to my lights cool, cleaning up there and then just adding in the bloom just to see how it looks. And essentially that's the end of the look. Next, I set up the character in the same way. You can see I had to change the line thickness to point 001 and I even increased the threshold to get a tighter line for this model since the scale was a little different. Also, as you can see, I used a bright green just to make sure I could see it very easily and then tweaked from there. After that, it was simply the same setup as I did with the bike. 
as you can see i started with one base red and then i'm just changing uh, the posterize to two and have first like a really light blue once that's good i just apply it everywhere else and change the base color and you can see that you know i did that the only difference now is for the back of the jacket there is a pill so that is basically the one thing that you need a color layer again and you can see in here i'm just setting it up bringing in a color layer and then the sticker and then just seeing what it does and then making sure i have the right settings for the mask and then have the shading work together all in one once i had my camera perspective set up it was simply just brute forcing by setting up the angles using some box modeling and just looking at the reference which is one still from the film and just eyeballing as closely as possible to where the windows would actually be what the shape of the building is which lights actually were on which ones are off getting the side railings of the road and the you know insets of things to work properly so this is just you know your, your standard poly poly modeling and then it was the same thing for the bushes that go behind there as well and this was just me you know taking my time and this is just really sped up so you know you can see as i build this up and then once i had that i could just start to light even this i'm just using standard lights and my materials are just standard materials with like a i actually found a poly haven texture and just put that on top of everything and the road is tuned but the buildings themselves are not um since i can mix and match i decided to do it this way because just like any anime the backgrounds are typically painted and they have a lot more detail than the foreground character so it wouldn't have as flat shading so um, as you can see here i'm just adding in more lights more details and just continuously looking at the references i basically just went through and just hand animated the character kaneda and then also the bike i found this really cool setup in the description below i'll, send, I'll have a link to it to make the electricity and sparks so essentially i'm changing the nulls and that's linking them together to create this lightning the last bit is me collapsing the final frame that matched the reference that I had and then adding some cloner spheres, some more graph ball offs for animation, and then simply putting that all through a volume builder and mesher to get the final look. Once that was done, I just had one simple tune shading that had no shading on it and it's just the color and it's glow. I took the bike and character into Houdini and simmed all the smoke based on the two wheels and the foot. I did about seven or eight different versions. Once I was happy with the result, I re-exported that back into C4 d The tune shading for this was the same as the bike and the character. The only difference was I made the outlines brighter and actually made an outline around the shadow so I get a few more details in there. I've also added a little cloner with a few random pieces of cubes that are just sort of altered to look a little more like dust. Once that was done, I rendered out all my passes, just checked them out and moved to compositing. So as you can see here, I'm going really quickly, just building back up the background, adding in deep glow and color correction as I'm going. Once I had that set up, I then brought in the foreground and did the same thing, adding a few masks for the front of the, the skin, the eyes, the goggles, and then also the sparks on the front of the bike and the back of the bike including the lights. Once that was all good, I had a little bit of deep glow overall to make it a little hazy, a little bit of noise grain, some glows, and some slight chromatic aberration that's very, very subtle. So we hope this walkthrough sort of helps give you an idea on how you can make an anime look very, very easily using the YMA2 shader, and we just can't wait to see what you do with it. See you on the next one.